For this video review, we're going to take a look at McFarlane Toys Demon Slayer Tanjiro Kamado. Here is a quick spin of the box packaging for product identification. As for the content of our $27 purchase, tax included, we have the figure, the sword, an alternate set of hands which are fists, the figure stand, and the sword effect. There are two versions of the Tanjiro Kamado action figure. The first version has a blue sword effect that is included in packaging. The second version is going to have the red or the fire effect. This version. And take a look at the head sculpt or the head unit of the action figure. If it's scuffed dirty and with wound marks, then you have the second version. But if it is clean and has the blue sword effect, you have the first version. The Tanjiro Kamado action figure sounds around the 6.25 inch mark. For size comparison, we have Tanjiro Kamado with Kyojuro Rengoku. So we have the Tanjiro Kamado Katana. So this is the details on the handle, the details on the blade, and let's flip it on the other side. And as for difference and size between the Kyojuro Rengoku Katana, so bigger and longer versus the Tanjiro Kamado Katana. Here is a sample action pose of the Tanjiro Kamado action figure. The sword accessory that is included in packaging is a nice add-on to the action figure. Really enhances the look of the action figure but it really weighs down or throws the balance of the action figure. So you need a action figure stand but for those of us who really wish to exclude the action figure stand with our action figures then a accessory from Marvel Legends would be just a nice add-on to spice the figure a little bit but we could work without the stand if we use this. As for articulation points, difference between the Kyojuro Rengoku action figure, it's going to be the Kyojuro Rengoku uses a cape. Tanjiro Kamado uses a coat. So there's better articulation points for this action figure. So let us take a, look, a closer look at the articulation points and the details. So this is the details on the head unit. Back of the head, side, side, side to side motion, up and down motion, rocker motion. So the other thing is we don't have any excess hair hanging on to the shoulders of the action figure which really enhances great articulation points for the head. Okay, arms, full rotation, T poses, butterfly joints. Though we have a single point of articulation for the elbows, that is not a problem for this action figure. And we still have rotation. And we have a hinge and a ball for articulation of the handsets. For the body, we have two ball joints for the for just the body alone, one on the diaphragm area and one on the waistline. So just like your standard McFarlane DC multiverse action figure. So great points of articulation on the waistline. The coat is made of soft rubbery material and I don't know if we have markings for this and the coat is attached to the upper tunic so we really can't see whether we have markings 
on the back of the uniform of this action figure. Unlike the Tanjiro, ah, the Kyojuro Regoku action figure, that we could lift the cape and we could see that marking. Okay, articulation points, waist down. Forward kicks. Sideways kicks or side kick. Even a reverse roundhouse. We have a single point of articulation for the foot. And we have rotation. So does it bother me? The answer is no. I am just satisfied with this articulation point because it's a somehow well balanced between the design in the animated series and execution in toy form. So I'm okay with that. So this is the details on the gators. And for the foot, we have a ball and a hinge. And also, toe articulation. If you wish to have a Tanjiro Kamado action figure with a sword and a sword sheath, then you could take the one that is from G.I. Joe Classified Series movie version of Snake Eyes. Take the sword and the sword sheath and display it this way. So, just a point of comparison. So, this is the sword that comes with this action figure. So, this is the sword and the sword sheath that comes with the Snake Eyes action figure. Well, there's going to be a disparity in length and size, of course, and thickness of the blade. But it really does not throw off any function or aesthetic value to the action figure. Actually, it still adds on. So, if you wish to have a black blade, then just take off the silver paint of the blade of this action figure. And you could have the best of both worlds. So if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.